Hi guys! Um, so a few days ago on my Instagram I posted that I'll be doing a Q&A so I'll be doing that today for you guys and um, I got loads of questions on my Instagram, my email and my Facebook so I'll go through as many as I can and I hope this isn't like an hour long video but um, yeah let's get going. So let's get into my Instagram and let's see what people have asked. So, first, first, first question from Humera. Humera XO. Favorite, favorite foundation and the worst. Okay, favorite foundation is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and the worst one has to be. Um, Nas, the one with the really long name, it really didn't suit me. I look grey and ashy. I didn't like how it sat on my skin. I thought it it didn't match my skin well and I didn't like the consistency. The consistency was really watery and I kind of wanted to think it was full coverage. So best one is Georgia Mine Luminous Silk and the worst one is the Nas with the really long name, the long lasting blah blah blah. <laughs> um, Anisha Goswami 23 asked when did you start doing makeup I qualified when I was about 20 so about seven years ago and then I never ever like did it on people I like on paying customers I basically just did it for whoever's wedding it was or whoever wanted to go to a party and was like oh please wear makeup please wear makeup so that's kind of where it started um, a few years ago but I had my daughter and um, yeah so life was kind of on a hold for a bit but now I'm in a really good place to um, pursue my makeup and really take it to where I really want it to go so um, yeah I had a gap but um, I really regret taking that gap now because I probably think if I didn't take that gap I probably would be a lot more ahead than what I am now but saying that I'm really grateful for where I am in such a short space of time I don't take any for, anything for granted um, so yeah I'm really happy where I am um, Arfrini oh that's a pretty name um, how many years have you been practicing makeup and your skincare routine? So makeup I've been practicing for about seven or eight years now and my skincare routine it really varies because I've got quite normal to combination of skin so in the summer it's so dry, in the winter it's quite dry so um, I always try and hydrate my face, at night I use facial oils, I massage it into my face stuff like that's really important and keeping your my skin hydrated because it cracks up and it does not look good with makeup. My also offering is asking my five must haves. Um, five must haves that I cannot live without. My motives um, ice palette. That is my concealer, my highlighter, my contour, everything in one palette. It is by far the best contouring concealing palette ever. So that's number one. Number two is my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Number three is my uh, Motives LBD Gel Liner. Love a bit of Motives. Number four is um, my, at the moment, MAC Pro, not Pro Longwear, Studio, Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I'm loving that. It's so, it's so full coverage and I actually look airbrushed, which is always nice. And my last but not least is my Muar Iridescent Highlighter. So I'm using it every day, I I love it, it's £3 for a highlighter and it's such a big pan, it's by far the best, so there's my top 5. Valentina underscore dot, have you ever had problems with self confidence and if so have how have you dealt with it and why? Have I ever had problems with self confidence? Hell yes. Um, in secondary school, like all of my group of friends, they were beautiful. Like when I mean beautiful, they were stunning. So there was so much pressure on me to kind of like fit in and look pretty and look the part of our group. And then 
And from then I actually started wearing makeup because I thought, I want to look pretty, I want to start wearing makeup. So I think I started wearing makeup when I was like um, 15, 16. And that's, I think, where my self-confidence issues kicked in. Um, but um, I think I'm a bit of a people's pleaser. And that's really, really, really annoying. Like, I wish I wasn't. I wish I, I like, didn't care what people think. But I think that stems from my self-confidence. Like, I always want to make people happy. I hate when people are upset with me or when people... Um, like I just want to do anything to make them happy. Like is that that's really annoying, but yeah, that's obviously got that's obviously why I'm probably not that confident or whatever. But, but um, yeah, I kind of wish that I didn't have that about me. I wish I was kind of like, yeah, I don't need to make you happy. I'm fine. But I'm I'm not like that. I will try and make you happy, and that's so annoying. Face. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm on my lappy. Libby128, what is your favourite concealer? Favourite concealer has to be... Well, I use my Motors palette as my concealer, so my Motors Ice palette. Sally Pete, do you have a best friend? Oh, that's a sweet question. I do, I have two best friends. They are the best thing in the world. My best friends, like, rule the world. They're so cool. So my first best friend is Tamana, and my second best friend is Alicia. I met them both in secondary school. I've known them since I was 10 or 11 to today. So I think I've known them for 15, 16 years. And they are much more than best friends to me. They're not my sisters. They've been through everything with me. I've had a few ups and downs in life and they've kind of always been there. They've never judged me. They've never um, wanted me to ever do badly. They're so supportive of my makeup. They always like repost all my work and like guys check it out They always repost it on their Instagram or on their Facebook, which is so sweet and so supportive And I have a few friends in my circle. Well, I wouldn't really call well They're not really friends friends, but you know what I mean But who wouldn't do that and who probably wouldn't want me to be as successful as what I am today, so They are like the best things in life. They're more than best friends. They're like my sisters and I, I love them to bits So Tam and Elle, love you Annie Mac, if you weren't doing makeup, what would you be doing? That's a good question. If I wasn't doing makeup, I would be, I don't know. <sighs> um, I probably would be, because I'm quite bubbly, I would love to do like radio presenting or TV presenting. How cool of a job would that be? I would love to do that. That just to me is like the best job ever. So something like that, something fun. Matt Rebel. Hi Matt Rebel. What was your favourite TV program growing up? Okay, so I went for dinner with my friend Sophie and her partner Davia a few weeks ago when we were talking about this. My wife and kids. Where did that programme go? That was like my favourite, favourite, favourite programme growing up. I loved it. My whole family watched it. We all loved it. It was so funny. It was so upsetting when it ultimately just stopped. Like, I don't even know what happened, but it stopped, and that was really upsetting. But, so, favourite TV program growing up was My Wife and Kids. And comment below if you guys used to watch it, because, yeah, how funny is Junior? Razia PKH. What is your favourite makeup brand? P.S. I love you. Aw, thanks, Razia. Um, that's really sweet. Um, so, my favourite makeup brand a makeup brand that the whole range is amazing like I would really have everything from one collection like I'll have a foundation from Giorgio Armani or I'll have a mascara from Max Factor but the one makeup brand that kind of I have a lot of different stuff of will have to be MAC I mean I have their lipsticks, their eyeshadows, their powders, their foundation I wouldn't say that they're the best but they're the best makeup brand that has a good overall range so yeah I hope that answers your question um, Melissa Vargas, what is your favourite lipstick? My favourite lipstick at the moment is um, the Sephora number. Oh, I don't know where it is, one sec. Let me see if I've got it. Sephora number, it says number four. Sephora number four, favourite lipstick, and um, favourite lip liner is MAC Strip Down. 
and that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed my Q&A. Um, I will have a tutorial on this look in a few days time so stay tuned. And um, Please subscribe and give, it, give this video a thumbs up, thumbs down. I hope you guys have got to know me a little bit more and I threw in a few random questions so you guys can see that I'm not just all about makeup. Although it's great, I have a life too. I will see you guys soon and give this video a thumbs up and love you.